A South Australian doctor has performed a historic operation on a Cambodian man whose entire mouth had been closed over with a huge growth emanating from his lip. Ang Keng, a resident in a remote village in the country's Kampong Kam province, has been living with the condition for 30 years and had never received dental treatment. Dr. Andrew Cheng, an Adelaide-based doctor, heard about Mr. Keng's incredible case through a charity he works with in Cambodia, and wanted to help. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't think anyone around the world has seen anything that big, Dr. Cheng told Daily Mail Australia. Mr. Keng was originally being looked at by doctors for cataracts, before shocked doctors noticed the growth in his mouth. They alerted Dr. Cheng, who flew with his mentor to Mr. Keng's village after being sent medical information from Cambodian clinicians. The local doctors and surgeons organized CT scans to make sure it wasn't a malignancy. We managed to utilize all the CT scans in the photos to plan the surgery in Australia. The size of the growth from his gums was the result of a rare condition called gingival hyperplasia. There is a 1 in 750,000 chance of being diagnosed with the condition according to Dr. Cheng. Mr. Keng was forced to adapt his eating and swallowing, only being able to consume certain foods. He usually only had fluids, cooked rice, noodles and soup. And lemonade, he loves lemonade, Dr. Cheng told Daily Mail Australia. He was able to swallow but the way he swallowed was different to you or I. He kinks his neck back and swallows, a bit like a bird. His airwaves have experienced a degree of narrowing but fortunately Mr. Keng never had any issues breathing, despite dealing with the condition for 30 years. They first trialed the procedure on Mr. Keng's brother, who was suffering from the same condition, but his case was much less severe. We performed the surgery on his brother first and utilized their primitive surgical instruments. We performed the surgery and got pretty good results, Dr. Cheng told Daily Mail Australia. They said it was important for them to do the surgery in Cambodia because they wanted to teach the local doct. He could potentially die in Cambodia if we performed the surgery. So we brought him back to Australia, Dr. Cheng said. His regular nurses and antitheses donated their time to help in the operation, and after the Cambodian community in South Australia learned of the landmark surgery, they all chipped in. The operation was a complete success and Mr. Kang is totally unrecognizable. Other than a few scars around his mouth there is almost no evidence of the surgery. After the operation he was invited by local monks to live in a monastery nearby, so he could recover in a more familiar setting. It was like he never left his village, Dr. Cheng said. Mr. Ken can now enjoy all the food and lemonade he wishes without having to eat like a bird but his number one priority was simply to fit in. His chief concern was to look normal. He's been suffering all his life, he just wanted to look normal, like everyone else.